The picture on top is what your foot looks like in a traditional running shoe, while the picture on the bottom is what your foot looks like in a barefoot shoe. But why does this matter? Let's talk about it. The midsole of a running shoe has two different measurements. You have a heel measurement and a forefoot measurement, with the difference between the two being called a drop or offset. Here we have an example of a zero drop shoe where the stack height in the heel is equal to the stack height in the forefoot, giving us a zero millimeter drop. Most traditional running shoes have a bit of a drop where the heel stack height is greater than the forefoot stack height. In this example, it's gonna be 10 millimeters. It's also important to note that heel to toe drop runs on a scale from zero drop, think barefoot shoes, hokas sit somewhere around here in the low drop range, Sockneys are in the mid range, and brooks are at the high end of the spectrum. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule and this can get complicated, but as a general rule of thumb, for running, low drop shoes are good for those that have a mid to forefoot strike, while high drop shoes are good for those that happen to have a heel strike.